So we'll open up the, the modifier. We'll see other forms of uh, modifications to the sales order. Two of them we have seen yesterday, discount and the freight. Uh, let's uh, see the promotions today. So let's finish. Surcharge is the easy one. So let's go to the surcharge list. Surcharge, as you say, it will top up your sales, sales price. So it's, uh, it's just say negative discount. That's all to the surcharge. So for example, um, I'll just add something to the selling price. So let's say 10%. Yes, I charge so I, I have not seen the uses of such charges like uh, I think it's a very limited uh, but, uh, let's say for a specific line that would header also price back header to the validity now we are familiar with this that could run through percent we have seen percent amount what's the value so 10 percent When do you want the success to be applied? So we we'll use the list line. So if you want to put any price pricing information, we can put. But otherwise, this is good. Now the search is applicable for everything. So if you want to limit it, uh, then uh, we can add a product constraint or we can go to the line qualifier. So let's limit it to a specific product, for example. Item number, uh, which item you know, we have to define one or just have to define, but it's too many. Um, two books we have defined. Let's see. Take the standard product. Okay, for this product, we are adding a 10% surcharge on top of the selling price. So, supply this. You can also add the qualifi qualifier to this, but I'll just leave it open. Let's try and take the order. There's only one condition in there, so we're not bothered about item, customer, or anything of that sort. The sales order I just entered and saved this line and let's see the any such charge that has been applied.
Okay. Now to see the price, it'll go to the pricing, you see the unit selling price, where well, this was the list price, 1699. And I don't think any changes have happened, it still remains there. Uh, let's see the order information. It's the 1699 is the same, so there are no changes that has happened uh, once I take uh, did I make it active or something or verify but uh, as of now doesn't look like anything has happened the selling price should have changed by 10 percent um, on top of the list price list price is the original price of the item today is 27th uh, we ended it on the same day. Let me just check. Yeah, we stand it for tomorrow. Okay. This size is just for back to put the end date on the same then I think that's what that was the reason why it did not work. And let's price the line once uh, you already saved it. So you have to price line manually. So you will, uh, do the price line through action, and there is a change in the selling price. Right now, 169 that is added is because of what? So you need to see the details of it. So go to action, view charges, view adjustment, sorry, and this 10% will appear here. Uh, you can check these attributes. So it's uh, only one condition is there, item specific condition. And if it meets, uh, then the adjustment amount and rate, everything is over here. Okay. Adjustment was of 169. And it's the top up of the list price. So 1699 plus 169 become 1868. That's the reasoning for the surcharge. It's just negative, differently it works opposite of discount and the usage wise uh, this is very much limited okay um, so that's about the, the such as any question we'll take up now